so managing litter from the end of a previous flock until you place your new flock is extremely important because that litter is basically a living organism and if you neglect it you're going to basically breed f further bad things within the litter. So my recommendation is always to work the litter as soon as the previous flock is gone and all birds have been removed. What I mean by work the litter is try to take out any excess moisture that you can. That can be mechanically um, by decaking or crusting the, the litter or it could be from closing the houses up and ventilating a lot of that moisture out as well. So that's another aspect is make sure once you're done working the litter, the houses stay closed uh, by closing the big doors in front, making sure that you have some sort of ventilation going on during that time. The best recommendation is to create a vacuum. And so by creating a negative pressure or a static pressure, you can actually pull more moisture out because you have more air movement. Best uh, recommendation there too is to also do it at times when the humidity is the lowest. So typically afternoons or depending on time of year, uh, you know, when the humidity is the lowest, that air can hold more moisture. So now you're getting more moisture removal from, from that time. Um, some other things that could be done is, again, try to keep the litter temperature as high as you can. So by closing up the house, you're gonna keep that litter temperature better. That volatilizes more ammonia off during that downtime. The more ammonia we can push out, the better, because then we're not sequestering that into the litter and holding it for the next flock.